I have no oatmeal and I have no chocolate almond butter. We gotta fix that. And we back. So for those of you that don't know, breakfast is like my most favorite meal of the day. One of my most favorite meals of the day. And also the most important, your breakfast is your fuel for the day. So just to let you guys know, for the ones that don't already know, I always like to start my breakfast off with something clean. You know what I'm saying? Something clean, which means some oats. I always like to start off with some oats. I usually like to throw some almond butter in my oats. What am I saying? I always throw almond butter in my oats. Chocolate almond butter to be exact. On top of that, always some type of fruit. I always gotta get the antioxidants in, whether it's like some raspberries, an apple, or like a banana or something like that. Or I could throw like the blueberries in my oatmeal. And then to top it off, I always gotta have my 20 ounce cup of water in the morning, sometimes two 20 ounce cups of water because our body weight is made up of more than 50% water and we have to drink half our body weight in ounces every single day. You knew it, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So right now, guys, I am on top of the roof of the Super 24 Fitness, which is like a three-floor 24 Fitness. One of the biggest 24 Fitness, I think, in the area of Houston. I love it over here, especially the basketball court. And that's what I'm here for. I actually want to break in these bad boys right here that you guys saw me get now these are the adidas basketball shoes that i actually got from a loyal subscriber he sent me so it is my job now to break them in and see how they feel one thing though about me is that i'm all big on comfortability i only like playing basketball on shoes that were really broken in don't know how nba players wear one shoe on the first half and then change the shoe for the second half i i don't like the feeling of fresh fresh shoes i gotta really like you know what i'm saying like break them in try these out real quick get a, a light little hoop session in you know a little therapy session I like to call it Let's see how these feel man So word on the Adidas Boost Basketball Sneaker. You guys might know the KD-12s I usually hoop in when I come to the basketball courts. These are a big W. They honestly already feel broken in. These, I can easily say that these are some of the most comfortable basketball shoes I've ever hooped in already. And I think the reason for that is because the boost on the bottom of the sneaker. Now I used to buy Adidas Boost NMDs. Those are some of the most comfortable shoes like ever and the technology works on the basketball sneaker as well. So yeah, big W. Thank you G for these sneakers, man. I wanted to show you guys this real quick. Today is Sunday and obviously I live in the city of Houston and yeah, um, the Texans just played. So I'm currently stuck in traffic, been stuck in traffic for probably 15 minutes now, not even moving. The arena, I'm, the arena see i'm so used to basketball the stadium is actually on the other side and on this fence area is where all the tailgating goes down i actually did a houston um texans tailgating video which was it was pretty crazy and then right about on that side is where you'll just see a bunch of people you can actually see people walking across right now a lot of a lot of fans yeah a lot of angry or happy football fans i wonder who won nfl scores there are 
15 NFL games on tap for week four. And that is a big L. Now that is exactly why I saw so many upset faces in traffic. Oh, they think about you. Prepare to leave my body when the time it comes through. What is going on guys? Welcome to day number two of the vlog. Hope you guys are enjoying so far. If you are, consider hitting the like button right now. It really helps the channel. And also too, I mentioned this before guys, that the real way you guys really find my videos is by typing in Slick Visions in the search bar. That's what YouTube is telling me. But one of the least ways, I think it was like 8%, it's post notifications so if you guys can consider right now please it really helps the channel is by clicking the bell next to the subscribe button and clicking all that way you guys get notified when i drop a new video now i won't spam your phone or anything like that because i don't post videos every single day but it will notify you guys when i drop a new banger so that you guys can enjoy yourself a vlog vibe so thank you very much but now the number two thing i want to talk about on day two of the vlog is the giveaway so you guys should know that the giveaway was going to be for this champion authentic bag right here which is so fly which i could have it for myself look at that blue champion bag you flip it black on the other side and then we have the stay true to self wristbands in many many colors and there's going to be two wristbands that go to one person so you guys know how I rock, I do it the old fashioned way because my giveaways aren't that big yet, but eventually, keep rocking with the kid, they will be big. Who remembers this hat? See this hat? If you remember this hat with the slick, if you remember this hat with the slick visions on it, you are an OG. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to put this camera down, shake up this hat, and we're gonna figure out who the giveaway winner is, guys. Thank you so much for the support. I plan to do more giveaways in the future because I'm always trying to, you know, just spice things up and make sure that I'm giving back to the people that support me. So just hold on for a second. I actually dropped the slip. We have the papers in here. And what we're gonna do is shake it around, shake it around. Not looking. And now let's find out who the giveaway winner will be. And like I said, guys, this is only one giveaway. We will have more. I have more wristbands. Um, wristbands are still selling. I got a lot, but they are still selling. So thank you so much for that. But I do have still a good amount left. So I plan to do more giveaways for the wristbands and other bigger things in the future. So let's grab out of the hat, mix it up a little bit more, pull out one paper, and let's see who the winner is. The winner is... The winner is Antonio Stotts. Antonio Stotts, thank you so much for the support. You commented, stay true to self in the comment section. You dropped a like on the video. And um, yeah, so message me on Instagram because I already know Antonio that you are following me on Instagram. You're always in the comment section. Message me on Instagram. Let me know what two colors you want of the wristbands and then I'll send you your package. So yeah, all right, I just got sidetracked in my thoughts, man. I'm always thinking, probably thinking too much, probably in my head a little bit too much so obviously you guys know i'm living in houston texas obviously living in houston texas enjoying my life in houston texas but there is a lot that i always share with you guys but ever since getting back from miami i guess you boy i guess you could say i've been feeling away like drake would say you know what i'm saying feeling away a little bit and um i basically just want to share with you guys how i've been feeling lately i'm very transparent with my people and i just like living in my truth and just how i'm feeling living in houston texas right now so i basically want to just um i want to update you guys on like how i feel right now currently living my life in houston and hopefully this will just like you know give you guys some uh clarity on the things that are going on with me basically but before i actually get into that conversation I got to put that work in all about the progression guys you already know i said i gotta step up my training which means right to a workout Yo, 
I just kicked my That was literally like one of the best full body workouts I've had in a long time. That was just one of those workouts where everything just went right. The pump, there was a lot of people in there so I wasn't able to film as much as I wanted to, but I was still able to get everything I wanted to get done. Done, that workout was so amazing. And now your boy's really hungry, I gotta fuel up. But man, ooh, that pump was amazing. I need some vegan water. I need some food, and now it is time for my Houston, Texas update. See you guys at the crib. Okay guys, so we are back at the cribbo. Conversation time, living in Houston, Texas update. Now this is something that has been in my mind since I left Miami. Now, um, this is gonna be raw. This is gonna be raw, uncut, no edit. It's just a raw conversation with my people. Slick, in third person, and my people. How does the camera look, okay? Fresh. All right, so basically guys, one thing I get messages about a lot from you guys in the comment section or whether it's on my Instagram or just everyday life is that you guys feel lonely. You know what I'm saying? You're afraid to move somewhere because you, you're afraid of being lonely. And I feel like a lot of people are afraid of being lonely in this world, even though loneliness is actually important because you need to be alone by yourself so that you can find yourself. You don't always need those distractions in your life, whether it's a female, a male, whatever the case is, it's important to find yourself. It's important for you to have your solitude. That way you can figure out where your mind is at, what you want to do and who you truly are because stay true to self, man. That's what it's about. You got to find out who you truly are. But this is the first time I feel like I can actually relate. You know what I'm saying? Relate to you guys that have felt lonely or some type of loneliness, you know what I'm saying? I've been here for three years and I haven't really felt lonely at all. You know, I'm a strong dude. I've just been living my life. Nine times out of 10, you guys see me by myself just doing my thing. You know, sometimes around my friends over here in uh, Texas, but everybody's living their own life. You guys know I have family over here in Texas. Everybody's living their own life. But going to Southeast Miami, being around my boys, I was so happy, man. I was having so much fun. For those of you that don't know, I have a sibling, my sister, Brittany Nicole Williams. I love her so much, so I grew up with a sibling. I grew up with my boys, that's why I call them brothers. You know, we've known each other for over, all of us, over 10 years, we lived on the same block. Sleepovers, basketball, vacations, all types of things. We did that all the beginning stages of our life. And now this is the first time where I've been, you know, by myself for so long, just living my life. And going to Miami and then coming back, I'm just like, dang, man, like, I need some more people around me, you know what I'm saying? I want to create around people. I want to I want to make films around people. I want to bounce ideas off, of, you know, with other people. This is the first time I've ever felt like lonely a little bit myself. Now, I'm all right, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be okay, but I'm just aware of how I feel, which is very important. And um, all I need to do is create more opportunities for myself, which means work harder so that, you know, um, I can create this type of life where I could travel monthly and go see my people. That's gonna make me feel so so much better. That's gonna make me feel great. You know what I'm saying? See all my family in New York, my people, um, or, you know, I have, um, my boy Dylan actually lives in New York and he's in a situation where, you know, he wants to get out of his living situation. So you never know. There might be a time where he moves over here to Houston and that would be amazing, you know? Life is just, you know, you just take it day by day. I don't know where, what, you know, where things are gonna end up, but, um. Like I said, I would just love to be around more people. Not all the time. I love my solitude. I have my, I'm big on protecting my energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm big on protecting my energy. I think that's how I stay so positive because I don't have people's like problems or toxic energy like bouncing off on me. You know what I'm saying? Or spilling off on, or spilling off on me. I just it helps me remain positive by just being one with myself all, all the time. Mainly, like I said, nine times out of ten, you see me by myself doing things by myself. But the goal is to create more opportunity so that I can just be around more people I love. You know what I'm saying? Life is short, I'm only 25 years old. So I feel like this is still a time where I should be around all my boys and stuff like that before I'm married slick. You know what I'm saying? Will slick get married? Ain't no telling. Maybe that's another video where I would talk about my single life. You know what I'm saying? My single life, which I love. You know what I'm saying? I haven't had an argument in like, sheesh, huh, for a long time. You know what I'm saying? I don't got nobody telling me how to live my life or anything like that. It's amazing. But at the same time, you know, like I said, it, over time, you could just get lonely. You know what I'm saying? You could just get lonely. So I love my life, but I do want to create more opportunities for myself to go see the people I love. Now, I can relate to you guys. So, you know, finally, I can relate to you guys that just don't want to be by yourself. Even though, like I said, solitude is so important. I think it's time for me to just go harder to create those opportunities where I could travel monthly, go see my people. And that is basically the conversation I wanted to have. 
um, I feel amazing. I feel great. And trust me, the, like my work ethic, I'm gonna make things happen. So we're actually go see the people I love so much more, so much more often, if that even makes sense. But thank you for making it to the end. If you did, that is how. That's my current update of living in Houston, Texas. If you made it to the end and you just watched this whole video, enjoyed the video, and you listened to me talk like right here, man. If you're a guy, pause. You know what I'm saying. But I really, really appreciate you. Comment end. If you made it this far, because you are a freaking real one. And thank you for the support. Yeah, that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I think it's important to live in my truth. I think it's important you know how you feel. You know, how you, how you feel emotionally or whatever the case is. But I will see you guys later on this week with another video. And um, it will be a banger. Most definitely that, because your boy is on the grind. 1% better every single video. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you guys later this week. As always, stay true to self. And I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces. I needed a thumbnail that triggers emotion.